Hi there, this is Neil from the Mantea Software channel and yesterday I recorded a blog post, uh, a, a video post, about how to sell at car boot sales. This is a blog post that I wrote yesterday that I decided, you know what, I'm going to get top of Google, top page of Google. Now, the way I calculated my competition, I went into Google and I typed all in title, this is this thing, all in title, that's one word, and then a colon, then a space, and then my keyword, how to sell at car boot sales, that's my competition. Um, these people are using how to sell in car boot sales or at car boot sales as their title or part of their title. So all of that needs to be in the title. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's all about the HTML of the code. That's the markup language of the code. So here I've got in the title page, uh, sorry, in the title tag, I've got how to sell at car boot sales, hyphen Mantea, hyphen online persuasion software, hyphen email solutions for business. So that's the title of my page and it kind of explains everything about what um, what Mantea do. So how to sell at car boot sales is obviously ranking pretty highly in there, that's the top thing that I'm talking about and then I go on to, if you go back here, if you're not a natural salesperson, my salesperson and most people loathe it, knowing and then the keyword how to sell at car boot sales won't be a comfortable experience. So it's not like I'm spamming it, I'm just adding that in um, so that search engines as well as human beings know what I'm talking about. So that's how I got to the first position of Google. So that's fantastic. We're, we're top of what I aim to be top in and you know, we did that in less than 24 hours which is fantastic. But there is a bit of an issue in that that's not what people are going to be looking for. They're not going to be typing all in title. Um, and also although yesterday it was 10 results now it's 40 results so just so you know that's what's happened um, so we'll delete that out and now this is more realistic <laughs> this is what people are actually going to be typing in how to sell at car boot sales and there's 3,990,000 results that's a bit more than the 10 that I thought there was yesterday so um, now the all in title is very informative because it tells you how many people are using this title tag or how how to sell at car boot sales as part of their title so all of these um, competition websites that I showed with the all title search will have that in that order uh, in their title so but that's not necessarily what we're um, competing with we're also competing against the likes of eBay the likes of the Guardian uh, moneysavingexpert.com Money Saving Expert appears regularly on BBC's Radio 1 those sorts of things and then you've got car boot junction obviously car boot is ranking pretty highly in in that there's money magpie which advertises on the tv you know we've got a load whole load of people um even government websites people that are formidable authorities in this area um however even though there are three million nine hundred ninety thousand results we reached page two at position number four that's 14 rank page rank 14 out of 3,990,000 results in less than 24 hours. So I'm pretty chuffed with that. But that's not good enough for me because frankly we're not going to get any traffic on page 2 at all. Who goes to page 2 except for people like me who want to find out where, where we're ranked? No one. So um, I mean in less than 24 hours to reach position number 14 out of 3,990,000 results is pretty impressive. Um, and the reason that people like Wikipedia, for example, are ahead is because they've got car boot sale here, but they've also got words like sell um, in, in their copy as well. Now, because car boot sale is ranked in their title, that's going to be ranked pretty highly. But also, Wikipedia is one of the most visited websites on the planet. It's the encyclopedic um, knowledge base for anyone. Yeah. Um, now even even academics are starting to recognise that Wikipedia has awesome in it. You're not always accurate, and so their authority or their page rank with Google is very very high. Um, I could show you that by searching page rank Wikipedia, but I'm not going to. Um, yeah, we've got to overcome Wikipedia. We've got to under, overcome uh, Squidoo and Trading Standards, that's a government website, um, and then we've got uh, Mantea. So let's have a look at other people that we're um, above. We're above eBay here, which is car boot sales, so that's good. Uh, we've got Devon car boot sales, we're above them. That's pretty good as well, especially as I am in Devon. And we've got De uh, Derbyshire, which is another government website as well. 
so we're above all of these people and um, yeah I won't go through and, and brag but you know we've got money watch um, another one Calderdale uh, which is another government website so you know we've got some formidable opponents that we've overcome um, in here and I, I won't show you all of them so we're on page two and what I'm doing now I'm I'm pushing it to page one and again I'm not going to go into the details of how I did that just yet I'm going to wait until it works and then I'll tell you how I did it so keep on uh, tuning in if you go to where are we if you go to youtube.com which is very authoritative and then go to Manto Software let's go to my channel then what you'll see is this pretty little thing I've had designed here with a little Facebook thing so if you want to connect on Facebook go to facebook.com forward slash Mantea and also subscribe now around about here um, bear in mind that I'm logged in at the moment but around about here on my channel you'll see a subscribe button it's a green button just click on that to uh, put loads of comments there oh it's different on it, but yeah so there'll be comment section and then you can cl click on like as well and, uh, and say how much you think I'm brilliant and all of that sort of junk so thanks very much watching and I will see you again I'm probably not going to do anything tomorrow I'll, I'd like to take a day off on Sunday um, but yeah check back on Monday and I'll tell you whether or not it was successful uh, I'm going to be checking on Sunday anyway but I can't be bothered to record a, a video frankly because I need a day off uh, especially with the weather turning nasty a bit later on. I need to make the most of it. So thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Cheers, then.